This is the new Cosmo C1 video transmission system from Hollyland. Let's talk about it. Hi everyone, welcome to Paldatech. Video transmission systems are getting more and more affordable and accessible to a wider range of videographers. These wireless video systems that used to cost thousands of dollars are now appearing for less than $1,000. Typically, these are used to either allow someone to pull focus on set using wireless signal with minimal latency or as a setup for someone else to be able to view the camera's footage in real time as it's being shot. As a disclaimer, Hollyland did in fact send over this unit to test out and review. However, they were not allowed any input as to the creation of this video, and they did not pay me to do this review, nor were they allowed to see it until now that it's been published. Now, I've used and reviewed the Mars 400S Pro before, and the Cosmo C1 is supposed to be the upgrade to the Mars 400S. You get a black case that looks like the presidential football briefcase. Inside, you get one receiver and one transmitter. Both look almost identical, but with different colors on the lower right side. Right away, I could tell that these aluminum bodies are more solidly constructed than the original Mars 400S Pro. It also comes with four very well-built antennas, of which you attach two of them to the top of each unit. However, they also included two mushroom antennas for the transmitter. Now, you would want to use these if you were transmitting your video from a lower point to a receiver that's higher up, perhaps on the second floor of a building or up at the top of a hill. You also get a DC adapter that will work on either unit, a magic arm, a cold shoe mount, and an expansion accessory. These units have mounting holes on both the side and the bottom, and they can be mounted either horizontally or vertically on the camera. On the units themselves, they support both HDMI and SDI input and output. Now, compared to prior versions of this video transmitter, you get an additional SDI out on both your transmitter and your receiver. This allows you to hook up monitors on both your transmitting and receiving ends. Now the unit can be powered in one of three ways, either with the included DC adapter, right? Or you can use an NP battery just like this right on the back, right? Or you have a USB-C port right on the unit itself and you can run this into any USB-C power source. Both these units have USB-C ports and that's a really nice touch. Now, one thing that I found when hooking up a Sony MP battery to this thing, it locks so well. Look at this thing. Look at this. This is not going anywhere. You put this battery on it and it stays locked, which is what you want, because if you were actually recording and you had the battery, you know, sort of fall out of the unit, right? Whoops. If it fell out of the unit, you would lose your signal. Hollyland had to make sure that the battery stayed into place because you would not want the battery falling off the unit, you know, right in the middle of shooting. So well done. This is strong. You could mount this on the wall and do pull-ups on this thing and that battery is not going anywhere. So now let's talk about actual video transmission. These units allow you to transmit up to 1080p at 60 frames per second, either to an HDMI or an SDI port. Now, according to Hollyland, they use a five gigahertz frequency band to broadcast up to 1000 feet away. That's assuming a clear line of sight. Now, just to be clear, video transmission Mission distance and reliability depends on so many factors. You have walls, you have trees, and so forth. And it also depends on frequency interference. And this is actually where the Cosmo C1 performs very well. It uses a proprietary technology called Hevo that allows for adaptive frequency hopping. You can use up to four of these paired units at the same time on location without interfering with each other. Now, in this studio, I don't have that much range, okay? But I did conduct a number of tests through walls and it worked flawlessly. In addition, since it's the holidays and since, well, I had some gifts to return, I decided to take these units and this rig over to Target to perform a real world range test. I'm currently at Target with a Fujifilm X-T3 and a Hollyland Cosmo C1 mounted right on it. I'm gonna go inside and see how far I can get in the store. I've got the Hollyland Cosmo C1 receiving unit right on the dashboard of the car with an HDMI cord going down into the Atomos Ninja 5 monitor. Let's go into Target now and see what we get. I took okay. the camera and the transmission unit into Target and walked 
walked all the way through the very back corner of the store. Now, having been inside that Target many times, I have to say that there is something about those walls and that reception in there, it sucks. My phone doesn't even work inside there, so it's a great test, but I have to say that the Hollyland conked out pretty much right as I got inside the store. It didn't handle it very well at all. So I decided then to go outside and test with a sort of an unobstructed line of sight and see how far we can get where we don't have those walls and things inside of Target. Target. And the unit did so much better and reached a thousand feet without dropping any signal or hiccuping or any problems whatsoever. It worked flawlessly. Now another feature that comes with this unit is the ability to connect it into USB-C and run it into your laptop or your desktop computer and turn it into a streaming webcam, okay? Now I tested this a number of times and I have to say it does not work reliably. I would not trust it in any kind of a professional environment and I think that Hollyland has a lot of work to do with regard to the USB-C port and the reliability of connecting this unit into a computer and you making it work with software like Zoom, OBS, and Skype. I even had it set up right here. I was going to try and do one final demo for this very video where I'm talking about how great this USB-C thing is and you would see me, you know, in the background. I couldn't even get that to work. So that is an issue that I had with the unit. Overall, I must say that the build quality, ease of setup, reliability, and clear transmission distance, and the low latency make this unit a very serious player in the professional wireless video market. I only had two other issues with them, and they're both minor. The first was that the unit does get very hot once it's been left on for about 15 minutes or so, and the second, I would have liked to have had a second expansion accessory included in the box as well. Overall, the Cosmos C1 does represent a very very mature product in a long line of Hollyland video wireless transmission units. These units were an absolute joy to use. As long as you are not needing to use the Cosmos C1 as a wireless streaming device via USB-C, I would recommend it to anyone needing a serious wireless video transmission unit. Well, that wraps up today's video. I hope you found the video helpful or at least entertaining. And if so, be sure to give it the like and subscribe. I will be back with one final video for 2021. I'll see you Friday. Take care.